Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today we're going to work with Tonic Sparkle Powder. I absolutely love working with this. I'm going to make a card and I'm also going to show you the different colours as well. I've decided that I want to start showing more mixed media. So the next kind of couple of weeks are going to be very heavy on mixed media materials. So tonic and cosmic shimmer specifically. And then I've got some other ones that I want to show as well. Today I'm going to be using tonic shimmer powder and I'm also going to be using tonic embossing powder as well. So I'm in design space. The first thing I'm going to do is go to images and I'm just going to search for card and we're just going to choose a basic bog standard card and I just want to take that heart cut out so I'm going to select the actual card layer open up my contour and just remove that heart so it becomes solid so that's going to be my card and then I'm going to cut out this rose and I'm going to draw it using an embossing pen and then I'm going to emboss it and add my sparkle powder. So just to show you how I've done the rose, I'm going to go to images. I'm just going to search for rose. And if we add in icon, it will reduce it down. So I want this one because the draw icon that I want to use with the offset, because it's a draw, it's not allowing me to create a decent offset, but there is a work around that. Now, most draw items in Design Space have a cut equivalent. So I've got the cut equivalent here. So I'm going to insert that to canvas and then I'm going to go back into images and I actually click on the eye of that cutout. It will take me to the image set. So if I select view image sets, I can then click on the image set and I can find the draw equivalent of that cutout, which is that one there and I can then insert that. So first thing I want to do is just check the size. So this one is set to a width of 5.393 and this one is a set to a size of 5.28. So I want them to be the same. So I'm going to make this one 5.28 and then bring that over, draw around, align and center. If we then come over to our layers panel and we look at our rose icon layers, if we hide that first layer, they are pretty much. And then we hide the second layer. They are as close as they can in terms of being lined up. And to be honest, we don't need them to be perfect because what we're then going to do is use that cut to make an offset so let's just make that a little bit smaller so let's go for there and apply we can change the color of the offset so that we can see it better and then we can hide that cut and we've then created our cut around if I try to do it with the pen on its own, if I go straight to offset, you'll see it's not doing as we want. And equally, if we change that to a cut, it will automatically make it a print and cut. And again, we're not getting that offset. So this is a nice way to be able to do it. So one layer is pen and one layer is cut and we're going to attach those together. So it's going to draw our rows and then cut out our offset. And I'm just gonna bring it over to my card and just get the size that I want. If we then go to make it, you can see we've got our draw with our offset. So it'll draw it and then cut out that offset. And then on a separate layer, we've got our card. We can go to continue. And I'm using a watercolour card today for my shimmer powder and my embossing powder. So I'm just going to use a craft board setting because my machine does like to cut on a, on a heavier setting. And then for my actual card, I'm just going to use a normal card. So I'm using a WOW embossing pen today. And the great thing about these is that they fit in the Explore and the Maker models and they fit perfectly. So you don't need to use a pen adapter. 
Using a third party pen adapter will invalidate your machine. So it's not something you really want to do. It's going to invalidate the warranty. So you do want to always try and use pens that are going to sit in the machine naturally. And luckily these embossing pens do. I've got my watercolor card and I'm just going to secure it to my mat using my Cricut brayer. I've got my premium fine point blade in my B clamp and in my A clamp, I'm going to put my embossing pen. And when you push it in, just push it in gently and you'll hear a little click. We can then remove our embossing pen and unload our mat. I'm going to use the new embossing powder in Fairy Dust. So this is part of their new Sweet Sorbet collection, which was released yesterday. Now, 99% of my tonic products I buy myself. However, this colour and along with a few other items from the Sweet Sorbet bundle were sent to me. So I do just have to make that clear. However, I would have bought these anyway. Pretty much, I'm obsessed with all tonic products. And if I start a collection of like two colours, then I have to have all the other colours. We're going to tap away the excess. And you can then see that that is beautifully embossed. I'm going to get my embossing heat gun and turn that on. And as I add the heat, you'll see that that embossing powder starts to liquefy. And that is just so, so pretty. I'm then going to add some shimmer powders to this and I have purchased all of these. There is a new colour in the Sorbet collection which is Lilac Waterfall but I'd already purchased that before. So with the shimmer powders you don't want to squeeze the bottle, you literally just want to tap on the base and just give it a nice light tap. I'm also going to add in some solar flare. Some jade fountain. A little bit of falling leaves. A little bit of cherry bomb. And a little bit of Catherine wheel. I've then got some water in a spray bottle. And from a height, I'm just going to start spraying this. And you'll see as I start spraying, the colours start to emerge. And the more water you add, the more those colours will mix. So that's about right. That's kind of how I want this one to be. But you can see around there, the more water you've got, the more of that kind of watercolour effect you get. And you can, of course, come in with a paintbrush and play with it. But we're going to explore these more and more. So I'm then going to come in with my heat gun. 
and I'm just going to start drying this off. And you can see just how gorgeous that is. So we've got our embossing powder and then we've got our shimmer powders. That is just stunning. Because I've used the heat tool on this, I then tend to put it under a heavy book for a couple of minutes just to kind of flatten it out. What I do want to do is just show you the colours individually. So this is falling leaves. I'm just going to put a little amount down. And I'm then just going to spray some water onto that. And you can see those beautiful blues and greens and yellows coming out. We've then got Lilac Waterfall. So again, we're just going to tap a little bit out. Add our water. And again, with that one, you've got some gorgeous pinks, purples, blues, yellows and greens. Next, we've got Cherry Bomb. And we got a beautiful kind of cherry red going on, almost fuchsia, really pretty. Next we've got Catherine Wheel. And you can see there was a little bit of water on my paper there. And I'll show you that technique in another video. But again, we've got that gorgeous red coming through. We've then got Solar Flare. And that is a beautiful yellow. We've got Jade Fountain. And in that one you can see some greens, some blues. We've got a little bit of pinks and reds coming through there. Let's disperse it a little bit with our paintbrush. You can see those beautiful kind of muted colours coming through. So next we've got Golden Sparkler. And this has got some beautiful colours in there. You've got a tint of grey in there. You've got blue. You've got gold. You've got red. It is stunning. So next we've got Green Parade. And again, you've got some absolutely gorgeous colours coming through on that one. There's pink, there's blue, there's green, there's a little bit of kind of charcoal in there. That is a really beautiful one. Then we've got Atlantis Burst. And again, that is an absolutely gorgeous colour. It's mainly that beautiful kind of teal coming through, but you have got some pinks and some blues in there and a little bit of yellow and grey as well. But that is a gorgeous colour. Next, we've got Blue Blitz. And again, you've got that beautiful blue sort of straight away coming through. That is, again, really lovely. We've then got Sunray Crozette. And again, we've got some yellow, a little bit of orange in there. So if you really water those down, that will create some beautiful effects. And then lastly, of the ones that I've got, we've got Violet Brocade. And again, this one is absolutely gorgeous. You can see those pinks, that red, that purple, that blue, all coming through. And of course, the more water you add, the more of an effect you're going to get. And of course, you can come in with a paintbrush or other things like sponges 
to sort of really play with the effects that you can create. So for my actual card, I've decided to use this gorgeous textured embossed cardstock from Tonic. This is a new card set. So this is part of the Sweet Sorbet collection. And this is Miami Mint. So this is A4 Luxury Embossed Card. Now I did have some of this in the craft kit that I actually purchased, but they did also send me a pack. This cuts beautifully. So I'm just going to add that to my mat. I can add my scoring wheel into my A clamp. I'm going to remove my scoring wheel and add my premium fine point. And I can then come in and add my embossed and my sparkle powder rose to that card and then of course I could write a sentiment inside, I could do whatever I want to do. I absolutely love working with the sparkle powders and the embossing powders together. You get that lovely effect where you can have an image and then you can have your sparkle powders inside of the image. It's just amazing some of the things that you can do. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Any questions or queries, please ask them below. There's a lot more of these videos coming. I'll see you all again soon. Bye.